everyone, this is Josh with Ska. Today we're checking out the Helix wireless headphones from Dillinger Labs. These have superb sound quality with a great low frequency response with no distortion whatsoever, even at loud volumes, and a really nice smooth high-end presence. They also work with any Ska transmitters as well as any Ska Nadia hub, such as the Ryobi primary and the brand new third generation Soundbox speaker. And like all Ska products, there's no pairing whatsoever. So no wasted time pairing your device or typing in a special code or messing around with your device settings like you have to with Bluetooth. In most situations, Ska products are plug and play. Just make sure a Ska transmitter is playing audio from a source device like a phone or tablet, a laptop or desktop computer, or you can even use them with your TV audio using the Akiko or Talisa transmitters. After audio is playing, simply turn on the headphones and they'll automatically bond with the nearest available transmitter. If you have multiple sources in your house, simply double click the bond button to explore for sources until you find the transmitter you want. Like all Ska receivers, you can save up to 10 transmitters to your favorites list. So I'll just double click until I land on the source that I want to save. So in my case, it's the Diz transmitter in my iPhone. And then I'll just hold the bond button for three seconds until the LED turns green to save this source to my favorites. In addition to the built-in volume control on the headphones, there are some additional features built into the power button. So if you hold the power button, you can turn off and then turn on the headphones. However, if you quickly press the power button once, this will pause the music. Press again to restart the playback. Two clicks is track four, so you can skip a song if you want without even touching your phone. And three clicks will restart the playback of the current song, and if you're at the beginning of the current song, it'll go back to the previous song in the playlist. Listening to music wirelessly is great and all, but what if you want to watch a movie or a YouTube video without disturbing others? Helix is perfect for this. With Ska transmitters, you can send audio to up to four pairs of headphones at once. Another issue that comes up when watching movies and video with wireless audio is latency, or a lag time between the video and the wireless audio signal. This can cause the audio to seem out of sync with the video. With Ska transmitters and receivers, you get 36 milliseconds of latency, which is much less than you'll get with Wi-Fi audio systems and Bluetooth. So you can be sure that dialogue and sound effects in movies and videos are in sync with the action on screen. The Helix headphones can also be used as headphone monitors for practicing or recording music with your favorite digital audio workstation. You just need an Ursula or Cassandra Scott transmitter plugged into your computer. The Talisa transmitter also works great in a recording environment. Many recording interfaces from Motu, Focusrite, and others have ADAT output ports, which can be configured to output Toslink digital audio straight into Talisa. One thing to note is that Ska Pro will be shipping later this year, which only has 18 milliseconds of latency. All Helix headphones have Ska Pro support already built in. So when Ska Pro transmitters start shipping later this year, Helix headphones will automatically switch over to 18 millisecond operation whenever you bond them to a new Ska Pro transmitter. Having only 18 milliseconds of latency will be particularly useful for headphone monitoring when recording music. Next, let's do a range test with these. If you're using the Isabella, Diz, Gemma, or Cassandra transmitters, they have a 15 meter indoor range. And if you're using the Akiko or Talisa transmitters, they have a 25 meter indoor range. First, let's test out my iPhone playing music with the Diz transmitter, and I'll just leave this in my living room. So we're back in my office, and I'm just using the power button and single clicking to play and pause the audio. Yeah, so it's working just fine, but we're only one room over from my living room. So now I'm in a bedroom on the second floor of my house just above the office. Let's see if I can still pause and play, and we'll see if we still get signal up here. Perfect, so it's still working great. And now we're in the rec room on the far south side of my house, and we're still picking up signal just fine. So 
So we're out on my back porch now on the far southeast side of my house. Let's see if we're still getting signal out here. So we're still getting signal, but it's starting to cut out at this point. So pretty much everything in my house is okay with the DIS transmitter. So I have a roughly 1400 square foot house and using the DIS transmitter, I was able to take the Helix headphones into any room in my house and pick up signal just fine. But let's say we need to go a bit further than that. Like I mentioned before, the Akiko and Talisa transmitters will transmit up to 25 meters. So in my living room on my TV, I use the Talisa transmitter to watch TV. I typically use this uh, with my uh, GoRave soundbar down here. But what I'm gonna do is play some music from YouTube, send it over to the Helix headphones, and let's see how far away from my living room we can get. So we're out here at the end of my driveway on the far west side of my property, and we're still picking up signal just fine from the Talisa transmitter. So that's an overview and range test for the Dillinger Helix headphones with SKA wireless technology. Great sound quality for any application, they're long range so they'll work from anywhere in your house without losing signal, and they're preloaded with SKA Pro coming later this year. If you'd like to check out Dillinger Helix or any other SKA products, head over to SKA.com for more info. Thanks for watching.